So hello and welcome back. So today this is going to be test two of the Solex. So tomorrow we're gonna to take it for a ride, but today I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So hello and welcome back now. Today I have been fixing the Solex. Now there was a couple of things when we went on the last test run that weren't quite right. So we've, uh, we've fixed them and let me show you what we've done. So I don't know if you remember off the last one, uh, there was two mud guards on. There was one here, and then there was another one that was sort of bolted on back here. Um, I've redone really it all. I've actually altered it, and we've got one mud guard, which I imagine it should be. <laughs> so that's all done. The other thing I've done, I don't know if you remember, but there was like a bit of extra tin here, and this is all wobbly. Um, I took these off and I welded. The brackets back together again and then bolted it back through on the back another thing i've done i've put a bit of foam in the bottom there just so it's not as rattly as it was and the other thing is the wheel on the back uh had play in it and so i've took the wheel off and i've tightened up the bearing i had the bearing out and checked it and tightened it up so now there's no play at all and the other one is, do you remember the brakes were really noisy? I found out what happened to it. See this nut? And this one here. Going over all in bumps, they both came loose. And this back plate came off and the whole lot become loose. Um, the two old pads I took off were actually the same nuts that I'd lost. <laughs> they were perfect matching. Uh, so, I had, so I managed to get the nuts straight away. Which are the same as the front ones. So I had to redo all the rear brake. So theoretically now, um, it should be ready for test two, as we'll call it. Um, so the trick is, so now it's quite late tonight. I was gonna go out and it's now, but I'll be honest, I have hay fever and it's playing me up a bit and I feel a bit rough. Um, <coughs> I keep coughing, sneezing, itchy eyes, all that horribleness. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go tomorrow and test it out. So uh, stay tuned. So here we go, we're about to test it again. Um, it's a lovely, it's a lovely day. So we're gonna go right down the bottom of the track and back again. And um, we're gonna get down to the bottom and I'm just gonna check it over and then we're gonna come back. But yeah, look how cool that looks now. So today I am filming this off a phone. Um, the GoPros, well, it's awkward to carry it all when you, you're coming down here with this, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so we're going to try and film a bit with the phone today and see how we get on. But yeah, let's have a go. So if you're wondering how this starts, see there, look, it says depart. So this you just drop that in, which is putting your choke on. And then when you get pedaling along at a decent speed, I just you just pull this like that. Oh, there's the bell. Oh, bear with me. You go like that. And that turn the engine over as you're driving. And all of a sudden it'll fire up. Then flick it back and off you go. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that with the camera though. Uh, holding on and <laughs> going over there. It's not the best terrain. Um, but yeah. Well that gives you an idea of how to start it. And it's quite good because the clutch on this is really really good. Because obviously if you decide to stop, the engine will keep running. And then what you do is give it a little bit of a pedal and you'll start moving off again. So uh, let's have a go. As you can see, it runs really nice. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy with it now. Uh, I was just checking all the rear brakes, but it all seems to be good now. Um, it's a bit rattly from the toolbox, but I don't think you're ever going to get rid of that unless you take all the tools out. But yeah. 
So, let's see, give it another ride up the road. So, I thought I'd just show you the lights on. Um, quite good, aren't they? So, yeah, I can't knock that at all. So I enjoyed the ride out on that. It was very short lived, so I'll um, explain why. So basically what's happened was to this short video, we're gonna to have to do this again sometime like August or September. All right, I'm still feeling the effects of this. I decided to go over to the back roads where nobody was at, obviously because it's not taxed, MOT'd or insured or road registered or anything like that. And I get really bad hay fever. Now, normally I'm all right with it, all right, it sort of gives me a bit of a sniffle, feel a bit rough sometimes, but that's about it. I went out on that bicycle um, and felt absolutely rough. My eyes started to look, you see they're still a bit, they're not bad now, but they went really red and sort of blotched up and everything. I couldn't stop sneezing and I felt rough as anything for the whole afternoon yesterday. And I was only over there about 15 minutes. Um, so i sort of came straight back i went down there i've done probably a mile and thought nuts to it and come straight back so we're going to do that again um when the weather's not as well there's not as much pollen should we say about um so yeah so sorry it was a short video but we will do another we will have another go on it i was very pleased of how it went it was really good um but yeah unfortunately the hay fever killed me off on that one um i'm still feeling it now i feel like i've got like a proper cold you know um being outside isn't a good idea either. Unfortunately, hay fever tablets aren't very good either. Um, but no, so uh, yeah, so that was the, a short-lived video, I'm afraid. So uh, sorry about that. But like I say, we will do it again in September, or, you know, sort of that sort of later in the year when we get one of those nice, um, sort of one of them nice evenings or something, you know, when the hay fever's gone, yeah. I, this only lasts about a couple of months for me, this, this hay fever, but yeah, not good. So uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.